Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I am so, so, so excited. So in probably a couple weeks, you guys are going to be seeing my get ready with me wedding anniversary video. I really wanted to push this video out first because on my wedding anniversary, I ended up opening up the Carly by Val Fallon. I was so excited. Um, technically, I got this yesterday, but I was completely surprised. My husband and I, I told my husband I didn't want to exchange gifts or cards on wedding anniversaries because I simply liked just spending the time with him. I didn't want it to be like another stressful day where like we're trying to figure out what to get for each other and stuff. Um, of course he didn't listen. He agreed <laughs> but didn't listen to me and had a little present and honestly I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect and when I peered into the bag and saw the packaging I knew immediately what it was and I'm so excited. So I wanted to play with it today. I know this palette a lot of you guys are getting your hands on it. It's new so I wanted to be able to dive into it and create some looks in the next upcoming week starting with today. I was so it's so beautiful. I opened it up with my daughter so when you do see that wedding video the anniversary video you're gonna see my reaction and my daughter was looking at it with me and everything so but that's why I, I recorded this after but it's going up first but I love the packaging it like you can feel the like gemstones on the front oh it's so beautiful the only thing that I will say is that it's white <laughs> anything that I own that's white doesn't stay white for very long but what I also like about the packaging is, is it's not like matte. Um, it has like that gloss to it. So I feel like it's going to be much easier to clean. When I think of white packaging, the first one I think of is Dominique. The Dominique Latte Palette. And that thing is like a matte white and it's so dirty and <laughs> so gross looking. Um, actually, it's right, oh my gosh, ironically, it's right here. It's one of my favorite palettes ever. Um, you know, the packaging is beautiful, but it just gets so dirty and then it's like damn near impossible to get clean. So even, ugh, ugh yikes. <laughs> um, but I do still love it and I do still use it all the time. So when I saw another white packaging, I was like, ugh. Um, but again, it does have the gloss, which I think was really, really smart. And I do love Anastasia. I am so proud of Carly for collaborating with such an amazing company. Um, this is, ooh, this is the first time I'm like, I watched her reveal video and going through each color to explain like what all the shade names were, but they are gorgeous. And today I am wearing um, this like two piece, this white two piece um, dress. Um, so I'm excited to dive into, I'm probably gonna try some of these golds today, like Moo looks so beautiful. It's like this beautiful bronzy color. So I'm definitely leaning on like a bronzy, kind of look today nothing too too colorful we have colorful looks coming i'm also i want to crack this open real quick i've been obsessed with iced tea because i've been trying to stay away from sodas so this has kind of been my alternative <laughs> and uh my mouth is a little dry so i wanted Mm, I just wanted something real quick to sip on. You guys are also going to see some new products that I'm not going to talk too, too much about in this video because they were introduced or they're going to be introduced in the anniversary um, video as well. I did step out real quick to get a headband because I didn't want to like, clip my hair back to leave any weird marks, but I need my hair out of my face. I still have some pink in my eyelids as well from a look I did on Instagram the other day. <laughs> All right, enough rambling. Let's jump right into the makeup. First thing is first, I've actually been loving recently starting with my brows. So I'm using the NYX Preci Precision Eyebrow Pencil in Brunette. <gasps> oh, <laughs> whoops. I guess I can talk to you guys a little bit about some upcoming events because this video, because I'm kind of pushing it out first, not really first, I definitely have... Um, my Morphe Such a Gem palette is going to come up and then probably a vlog came up before this and then this video. Um, so it's a couple of videos in, but it is probably the most recent that I've like talked to you guys and have posted. So I guess while I get ready this morning, I'm going to kind of touch on some current events, um, kind of what to expect in the next couple of months, kind of update you guys a little bit because... 
sometimes it's hard because I'll film a video but I don't know exactly when I'm gonna get to posting it and like I said I have I have quite a bit actually of uh, videos that I've done over the past couple of weeks I've been super in a filming mood I try to post every other every other day um, and sometimes that doesn't happen because life happens. And of course I'm doing a look today with the Carly Bybell palette, but I would love to revisit this palette and do some more looks. Maybe like a, I don't think I've ever done a, like a three look in one video kind of video where like they do one eye, one look, the other eye, another look, and then like they'll take one makeup, one eye off and then do another eye. So. I think for my next video, including this palette, I would really like to do that so that way I can really explore more of this palette. But speaking of the beauty community, who else is so flippin' excited for the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collab series and, and, and the palette he's releasing and it sounds like he's gonna have a, it sounds like he's gonna have a big palette, a mini palette, and then liquid lipsticks at least. Imagine if he did highlighters too, like Skin Frost. Mm, mm, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go so broke. I'm pretty sure he's also releasing some merch and honestly I've never ever ever bought a YouTuber's merch. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I just guess I haven't found like that one YouTuber that I'm like, I, I don't know, none have like ever really appealed to me. Um, I'm not saying that anybody's like stuff is bad. Like even Shane has merch at the moment, which you know he found out that he's being ripped off for. But you know I, I don't know. I've never purchased merch, but um, I don't know. I think there's like, I think his whole thing is like this piggy logo. We've definitely been seeing hints of that. Um, so I don't know. I, it's just super exciting. But I'm more into like the makeup itself and. Who knows, by the time this video comes out, episode four might already be out, but at the moment, in present time, episode three was just released maybe two days ago, and I know we've been getting like some sneak peeks of stuff that they've been wearing. I remember seeing like a piggy backpack, a piggy hoodie, a piggy mirror, like Jeffree Star's mirror. I'm so excited. I might get that. Like, if I get any sort of merch, it's probably going to be the mirror and possibly the backpack. Because I really love being a mom. I really love wearing backpacks. I just recently switched back to using a purse. Um, but I love, I love having both my hands available. Especially when child number two is here. Uh, it would be really <laughs> handy. It'd be really convenient to have both my hands available at all times, so. That's definitely something that I'll look into. It didn't look very big though, so it's not like, you know, I couldn't use it as like a diaper bag, but when Hunter is a little bit older and I only, I don't have to carry as much, that could definitely be an option. Um, so, I, you know, if personally for me, those are like the products that I'm looking for, so you better believe that I'm saving up <laughs> for when this collaboration launches. But I'm gonna assume that it's gonna launch right after the ninth part of the series. Maybe even the ninth part and the final part will give us a launch date. That would be super, super, super cool. Let me know if you're also saving for this collab because I know that Shane Dawson has such a loyal fan base and so does Jeffree Star, you know, so you know the quality is gonna be there But I've been watching Shane since I, I want to say middle school Which is crazy because I've been out of high school for almost 10 years now It's just crazy to see how much he's evolved, but I'm so proud of him like again just being such a longtime fan um, You know, he's going through so much drama and they specifically mentioned like the the stuff with his cat but he is just kind of like not caring anymore what people say. And it's just, it's really nice to see him stand up for himself. Real quick, I'm gonna prime, and I just use the e.l.f. primer. Nothing super special, I feel like it works. I feel like it keeps my makeup on pretty well, as well as blurring my pores. Honestly, all of this is on my mind because almost every morning I wake up and I'll watch like spill sesh. I, <laughs> I don't know why. It's definitely a guilty pleasure because I try to keep myself out of drama completely. Real quick, before we continue talking, the palette does come with 
an Anastasia brush. Um, it's nothing special. I don't think it says like, no, it's just a standard Anastasia brush. So we're going to be using this and let's figure out what color we want to dive into first. I think I'm going to start with chai and start sweeping that into my crease. I was watching Spill Sash today and I did notice, I haven't talked about James Charles on my channel in a long time. <laughs> um, I really, I really was a fan of him for, you know, a while. I mean, he hasn't even been on YouTube, I feel like, that long compared to a lot of other people. But, you know, when he was kind of like up and coming, I, I'm definitely a fan of his work. I, I do think he's super talented, but I don't know him on a personal level to say enough, but the kind of feeling that I get from him is just his ego is a little bit too big. And to me, that's really disappointing. But his ego got a little too big when he started blowing up like crazy. And I felt like it wasn't about like the passion of makeup anymore. It was more about just like clout and money and you know just what it's really annoying when that happens by the way i can't tell if it's another product but i feel like this product smells pretty good it just got too much about him i think in my opinion so i just kind of started falling off of his bandwagon because that wasn't something that i wanted to support but you know i still had his palette and i still loved using it but i didn't really want to like really talk about it too much which is such a shame because I even did his palette in a giveaway like I really love the product and I'm not about to waste the product so I didn't want to just like throw it away I'm still gonna use the palette it's still good real quick next I'm gonna go into I think I'm gonna take a little bit of Bible Bible <laughs> which is a kind of like a mauve color and I'm gonna focus this color right into the crease but anyways it was just you know a little disappointing to see him in the path that he was going down and then there was so much drama with him going after straight men and I'm not gonna get into all that I don't like to talk about things that I don't know anything about to be frank I don't know him personally I don't know the whole story but you know I kind of fell off that bandwagon and then I had un actually unsubscribed from him for a while I was just getting sick of seeing all the drama and just just ugh. <laughs> so as of recently I saw that he had released a mini palette and a lot of people were saying like oh you're trying to steal Shane's and Jeffrey's moment you know that Shane's thing is coming out and stuff and I don't know I, to me I don't I think that maybe I don't know I feel like the beauty p community can be kind of cutthroat as well but I don't necessarily think that that timing was mm, it could I don't know <laughs> It's so hard, you know, you don't know the full story to make an opinion, but it's like, I don't think that he really like tried to like, oh, Shane's thing is coming out, so I have to put something out. And then a lot of people were upset with James saying that, like, why aren't you coming out with a new palette? But I do actually like the idea of his mini version as well. While we keep talking, I'm going to take Moo now. And I don't think I'm even going to cut my crease. I think I'm just going to pack it right on my lid. Ugh! I left the plastic on the mirror, but I got finger fingerprints on it and used the flat shader, uh, flat shader side to do so. My opinion about the mini palette is that I actually don't mind it. I think it's a pretty good idea because mm, this is really pretty. I just want it to be a little more intense. So I'm going to just take my setting spray and just give the brush a quick spritz. I don't mind the idea of the palette because personally owning his original palette, it is, it's very big. Morphe palettes tend to be very just large in size. So I, you know, I don't personally travel a lot, but I have, you know, packed suitcases and I could see traveling makeup artists wanting to bring a really colorful palette along with them like that. And it would be super hard to travel with something that size and then to worry about it breaking. So I do, I'm not mad at the idea that he's making just a mini vert, like a mini copy of his original palette. It would be nice to see artists coming out with brand new stuff, but I don't know, it was a year ago that he launched his palette, which is so crazy because 
it just doesn't feel like that long ago, I guess. All right, real quick though. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna continue my face and I just went right back to the eye. Sorry, I didn't even notice that. Hello. You know what, I'll finish the top of my eyes and then I'll move on to the face so I can still see what kind of fallout. So far though, I mean, I, I can't really, uh, some of this is just from last night, the glitters. There is a tiny bit of fallout, but it's nothing, nothing crazy. So as usual, there's a ton of drama going on in the beauty community, which is so sad because it kind of just like feels like high school to me <laughs> a little bit. It feels like the pretty mean girls are like at each other, uh, at each other's throats and nobody can just like, just enjoy makeup and you know that that's why i respect the artists who just stay out of the drama and just do their makeup and talk about makeup and just have a pure love for it so um i'm gonna go into bowie next which is this deep brown matte color and i'm just gonna take this on the outer v just to deepen up the look as a whole i'm actually you know what i'm gonna keep this piece of plastic i feel like this is gonna be perfect um and i'm gonna use it to create that line I just feel like the different communities in YouTube are so different in, in just wait, like an example, like the gaming community, you know, I'm sure there's some drama, but not like you don't really hear about it. Um, the vlogging community, you know, you don't really hear about it too, too much. I mean, there's been a lot going on with the Ace family and I don't personally watch them enough to have an opinion, but what I have seen. I don't really, I don't think I'm a huge fan of, I don't know, one thing that the Ace family did that like rubbed me the wrong way and I had just recently kind of learned about them was the whole video that I don't even know if it still exists or not, but the whole video they did about working a nine to five job and they're like, oh, this is so cool, you know, and that really rubbed me the wrong way personally <laughs> because I, you know, work in my family's restaurant. I still work at my family's restaurant and it's not, it's not like something that I would choose to do for the rest of my life, you know? Um, this is what I love to do. I love filming, I love playing with makeup, I love spending time with my family at home. So it rubbed me the wrong way to for them to kind of make like a, a joke out of someone's lifestyle. And I've had a job I've worked at my family's restaurant since I was 14 years old. You know, I had to really work to get my first car and I gave up um, any sort of extracurricular activities at school and I gave up all my free time to hang out with friends on, on weekdays after school. Like I couldn't stay after school or go to someone's house because I was working three to four days a week and then the weekend as well. For my foundation today, real quick, I'm going in with the Huda Beauty um, Faux Filter High Coverage Foundation, but I'm also mixing it with a little bit of this Lumi, Lumi Glow. So, you know, I gave up a lot of time to be at school and yeah, like I got my car out of it and it made me really appreciate like what I have in life because I had to work and I gave up so much free time to be able to drive and I would just drive to work, <laughs> you know? It wasn't like I was driving to my friend's house. I had to work to have a car to drive to work and then, you know, I went to college after high school for, I went for three semesters, so I never graduated, but I did go. Um, I almost got my associates. I just kind of gave up because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life and I knew at the time I was doing YouTube for a while and I knew that I wanted to do something on film like this. Um, where's my booty blender? So that, a long story short, cause I'm not gonna go into the sob story of, ooh, I had a job, like that's a great thing. <laughs> um, but that really rubbed me the wrong way. But that was the only drama I really felt from the vlogger community. The beauty community though, I feel like the, there's a hair. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this drama every time I wake up. <laughs> if somebody did something, someone said something, you know, it's just like, like I said earlier in the video, it feels a little high schooly to me and I am not about that. <laughs> I am not going back to that kind of drama and that kind of pettiness. 
on my community tab or on my Facebook or Instagram. Um, let me know what you guys think about the drama going on. If you're new to my channel, my comments are disabled, not because of me. I, I try to explain this as much as possible, but there's always somebody who doesn't know why, and that's okay. I don't mind explaining it every video, but my comments are disabled because my daughter is featured on my channel and she's a minor. So even if I physically go and turn on my comments, which I do for every single video, <laughs> my comments are automatically disabled and there is not much that I can do about that. So that's the reason I direct you to the other platforms. And I know not everybody will, but I do appreciate those of you who do reach out to me. But let me know, you know, have you guys been following along with any of this drama? Are you excited for the Shane Dawson palette? Are you gonna buy it? Because um, I, I really, really, really am. Next, I'm going in with the LA Pro Concealer in Toast. Funny enough, I used to apply this concealer before I applied my foundation, and that was when I was using drugstore foundation, but I found with using a high-end foundation, it looks better once it's blend it, if I blend it on top. So I don't know why, but with maybe they're just not as full coverage, but with my drugstore foundations, if I did it this way, it would look like a big brown streak where with a high end foundation, it just, it blends a lot easier. Oh, quick update. <laughs> Definitely changing subjects for a second, but I realize I haven't updated you guys on the neighbor feud situation recently. Um, I mentioned it in a vlog, some of you may have missed it, but I'll recap it very quickly. The only reason I thought about it is because I saw a neighbor walking their dog. <laughs> Long story short, in a vlog a while ago, oops, I just, I went, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna keep blending this, but I just went over my eyeshadow by accident, whoopsie. I'm gonna powder underneath my eyes real quick before I fix that eyeshadow. But to make a long story short, I was having an issue with a neighbor, an anonymous neighbor, where, and I don't even know if it was the same person or not, to be honest with you, but they kept allowing their dog to poop on my yard. Um, my house is like a corner house, so there's a street here, and then there's a street here, and then there's actually a street behind us, but there's a house behind us. So we're only on the corner, like right on the corner of two streets meeting. So unfortunately, with that being said, I have a lot of people finding that they can use my car, my yard for their personal use. I've had to be that person to also yell at kids <laughs> for coming in my yard all the time. I feel like I was that old geezer, like get off my lawn, but these kids would cut through from one street to the other using my yard, but they would be on their bikes, so they would tear up my grass. So I happened to be outside one day, but like I was kind of hidden by my house and they did it. And I just asked them, I'm like, guys, can you please stop using my yard to cut, cut through? And they were fine about it, but I just felt like oh, I don't like confrontation like that at all. Um, but the, I was having a bigger issue where someone or some people was using my yard to allow their dog to use the restroom, which is so utterly disgusting and I didn't appreciate it at all. And it would happen like at least three times I went out to my yard and I noticed that there was poop on my yard. And I have a cat and these were like big poops. I mean, <laughs> they were not coming from a cat, basically. I would be out, there was one time, and I mentioned this in the vlog, but there was one time where I actually caught somebody letting their dog poop in my yard. And this was somebody who didn't, um, not take care of their dog. Real quick, I'm going in with the NYX retractable eyeliner in... Oh, I can't find the name. Gold. Well, <laughs> I was gonna say it's a gold liner, but it's called gold. So I happened to be outside one day when one of these people let their dog poop in my yard. And I and I meant to say that they don't take care of him in the sense that like the dog is never on a leash, but it's a wild dog. Like it, it doesn't listen to its owner. It jumps in everybody's yard. It like, if my cat is out there, it goes after my cat. So there was one day I happened to be out there and I was on my porch and this dog owner did not see me out there and her dog comes over 
and poops on my yard. Now, the lady didn't even stay, like when the dog was doing its business, the lady was already walking away. Like she wasn't looking at her dog. Like she saw it happen, but then kept on walking. So I'm like, oh, hell no. So I got up where she could see me and I'm like, excuse me. Like I kept calling her and she ignored me at first. So I said it really loud. And she turned around and I said, um, I, I said, I'm sorry, but your dog just kind of pooped on my lawn. Now I'm going to go into Chai again and do my lower lash line. So then she's like, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, I don't have a doggy bag or anything. And I said, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> so I waited until she walked home and then came back and I watched her pick up her mess. And she didn't like apologize or like, she didn't apologize again or anything. She just like picked it up and walked away. And I'm like... If I wasn't out there, she would have just left it. So I truly think it's her. So I truly think it's her, but now I'm going to go into... Now I'm going to go into Bowie. I just want to deepen up that outer corner a little bit. I already shared that story, but um, you guys had told me to post like no business zone signs, but I took it one step further and I ended up going on this... Um, we have like a neighborhood app where it's like you got to get in touch with your neighbors You want recommendations for something you can go on this app and This is an app that I would check regularly But I never posted on because I didn't need anything from my neighbors until this kept happening and then I posted You know, I said I try to put it as basically nice as humanly possible But in short terms, I just said, you know, I said somebody or some like somebody or multiple people are allowing their dog to do business on my yard. If you could please not do that. Like we live right next to a, a public forest where you can take your dog to use the restroom. I said, please take them over there or just don't allow them to poop on my yard because I have a young daughter who plays outside and I have a young son on the way. So ever since I posted that, I haven't noticed anything. Maybe I'm just not looking in the right areas, but I think the problem is solved for the moment. So there's my own personal drama going on <laughs> in my life. I'm gonna add my liquid liner real quick. I'm gonna throw a card right up here for you guys if you wanna see an in-depth tutorial on how I do my liner. One more little piece of drama I guess I can share with you guys in today's video because I guess that's what it's gonna be about. I was gonna recap you on what was happening in my life and coming up, but I guess we'll save that for a vlog. Today is Dramageddon on my video, <laughs> on my channel. As I mentioned, you know, we had celebrated my wedding anniversary. My wedding anniversary was on October 12th. So, you know, this video will be coming up shortly after that, but my wedding anniversary will probably pretty be pretty a couple weeks later. My husband and I had gotten ready for dinner and we had a really nice dinner. We ended up going to a place called the Copper Door, which we've never been at, but we heard it was really nice. We were definitely overdressed for the place, but <laughs> I like dressing up regardless, and I don't really care what other people are wearing, so I got dressed really nice. I felt really good. I felt really pretty. It was just, it was a nice night out. So after dinner, we had the whole night to ourselves. Um, technically, I gotta go pick up Ella right after this video, so we had, you know, an overnight sitter, and... We don't really ever get that. I really don't like asking people to do overnight sitters. I don't see Ella as it is because she's in school five days a week. So weekends are really all that I get with her. So I try to spend the time completely with her. But it was a special occasion, so we had gotten a sitter. So after dinner, I told TJ that I really wanted to... Excuse me while I find my lashes real quick. After dinner, I told TJ, you know, we don't really have plans. Like, there wasn't a whole lot that I could do being pregnant. It's not like... We could go out to a bar or to a club or, or, you know what I mean? Something that, like, people do on nightlife. And his birthday is coming up, and we were thinking originally about going to see a movie, but we're going to go see a movie on his birthday. So we wanted to save those plans. So we're like, well, what else could we do? And there happened to be, it, it was, um, uh, like, a haunted house at an amusement park. So we decided to go to that instead. So anyways, we are at a um, probably our third haunted house of the night. And unfortunately, I really don't think that they should. I see why they do, but they do sell alcohol at this uh, haunted attraction. 
But the alcohol, you know, has to stay in one specific area. Like, you can't walk around with a beer or anything. But that, you know, doesn't mean that the drunkenness can't follow you out of that area. So there was this particular guy in the line behind us with his wife. And honestly, I didn't even notice him at first. Like, they were being a little loud, yeah, but everybody kind of was. I feel like at these haunted attractions, people feel like they can just kind of be rowdy and just, like try to be funny, but they're really being kind of stupid. You know, again, I was an actor at these houses, so I dealt with a lot of people just saying things that they normally wouldn't say and do things that they normally wouldn't do. So I was in line and I was in front of TJ. So he was, you know, behind me. And again, it was just us two. But all of a sudden, he turns around and faces this guy. He says something like, really got, like really, is that really appropriate to the guy in line behind us with his wife? And I'm like, you know, I'm completely like, wow, what just happened, you know? So now they're going back, kind of back and forth in line. The guy is being super rude, super raunchy. I'm gonna go into my milk um, liner. I just feel like my eyes are a little too dark. Like the gold is pretty, but I don't know. I just don't really like the shape of my eyes. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to my waterline. I think I'm gonna actually go back into the palette again and just add Bare, which is like that matte vanilla color and just pack it on. So you could tell that this guy was kind of intoxicated. TJ didn't have anything to drink. He actually didn't even have anything to drink at dinner and you know, obviously I'm pregnant, so I didn't, I didn't either. So this guy was clearly a little bit intoxicated. Um, and my lashes are in uh, Sasha from Huda Beauty, by the way. So TJ and this guy are kind of like squaring each other up a little bit, and I'm like, T, I'm like, I'm like kind of pushing on him. I'm like, knock it off. Like we don't need this. Is our wedding anniversary? It's a special day. Like just let it go. I said you can tell me what happened later, but just let it go. Like it's not worth getting thrown out of here. Like I don't want to get in the middle of this. <laughs> so the whole alt altercation only lasted like a minute or two, but I got him to kind of like turn away. I ended up going behind TJ so that he was in front of me and not like directly in front of these uh, in front of these people and so he starts explaining to me what happened and what got him so upset but I guess the guy's wife was directly behind TJ so it was like it was me then TJ then this guy's wife and then drunken idiot and I guess the wife kept bumping into TJ like bumping into his back so I guess her husband kept saying just really inappropriate statements which I don't really want to talk about on this channel just because, you know, family stuff is featured, but just really inappropriate, like, sexual remarks regarding my husband. Like, he kept telling his wife, like, oh, you want to do stuff with him, like, in the most censored way possible. And... I guess he kept saying it like over and over and over to his wife, which is wildly inappropriate. Like if I heard somebody saying something sexual about my husband, like I would have said something, you know? So I completely agreed with TJ's reaction. I don't know what it is. It's not the eyeshadow. It's just like, I don't know. What the heck? I'm going to try to play with my eyeshadow. Mm, maybe not. I don't know. I, something is... Uh, Something is weird about my eyes today. I feel like they're a little bit puffy, to be honest with you, but I feel like that could have also been because of all the glitter that I was wearing last night. My eyes might seem just a little irritated. So he was explaining to me, uh, this to me once we were kind of like out of earshot of the other couple and you know, I completely agreed with his reaction and stuff and I was like, you know, that was pretty gross. And that's just one thing that I don't like dealing with. Um, when you go out and there's like alcohol involved, you always have one person who just can't handle it or just went a little overboard and they just can't, they can't control themselves. So that was a little bit of the drama that I dealt with <laughs> on my wedding anniversary and that was not fun because I don't like getting involved in that kind of stuff. I told, I, and I told T, I said, listen, I said, you're my husband. Like, I'm never gonna back down. If like, I feel like there's an altercation happening or like, you know, I can feel, you can just feel the tension building up. I said, I'm not gonna back down. Like, I'm gonna be there to not protect you. You're a, 
a very big man who can protect himself, but sorry, let me adjust you back you guys up a little bit. I said, you're my husband. I'm not gonna just like walk away. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's just one of those, like if I ever got into a confrontation with a girl and he walked away, <laughs> like, like you just don't do that. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna apply a little bit of Ludwig on my list. I feel like it just ties in nice with the mauve color that we have on my crease. And then I might actually be picking up a new highlighter today just to try to have some more colors in my collection, but oh, surprise, surprise, we're using Anastasia's uh, Amrezi highlighter. But I've actually, ever since getting the this setting spray, I like to give it a little tiny spritz because really just makes the highlight stand out. All right, you guys, that is going to be, ooh, mm, my hair. <laughs> that is gonna be it for today's look. Um, did I sleep on my face wrong? I feel like there's a weird line right here. Mm, anyways, like I said, the next time that we use this palette, I really wanna dive more into these colors. Of course, I stayed on the neutral side today, but I got to play with a lot of the colors, and they're super pigmented. I really loved them. I really didn't have a whole lot of fallout. You know, I felt like my eyes looked a little off today, but it has nothing to do with the palette. Like, I just feel like my eyes are maybe a little bit poofy, um, but... The next time that we see this palette, I really, 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 really want to do like a three-in-one look. I see like a purple we can use. There's kind of like this pinky. Ooh, I don't even know how to explain that color. It's called Aura. It's like a kind of like a peachy metallic. Um, there's like these silver, silver blues as well. I don't know. Um, some gray, so we can definitely come up with some other looks, but I'm gonna go thank my husband again for giving me this palette because it is beautiful and I feel like I could do a really subtle look or I could do a really glam look using the same palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's chit chat kind of video. I wasn't sure where this video was going at first, but we talked about a lot today. I want to hear from you guys, but if you did enjoy this video, please go ahead leave me a thumbs up and while you're down there hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Oh my gosh I literally forget to do this in almost every video but I swear I set my face after my makeup. I feel like I forgot to do that like the last three tutorials. Oh my god. I always turn off the camera and I'll be like wait I forgot to set my face. Okay bye guys.